The D.C. Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. In a series of reports, we told you how residents and workers say the agency is failing to enforce elevator safety throughout the city. Now a homeowner and a former manager say DCRA is not doing enough to protect them and their homes from businesses that build, renovate and demolish properties without the proper permits. They say this illegal construction is harming their lives and their investment. Delia Gonsalves has tonight's WUSA 9 original. We began to see some issues with our doors. Slowly started seeing smaller things here and there, some cracks. Joe Gerson knew that the shifting doors and cracks crawling up the walls in his living room were not a good sign. The floors are no longer level. It's damage, Gerson says, a developer caused when he compromised the foundation of his northwest home. That developer was renovating the attached house right next door. Once the brick in the front of our house really cracked, we started to worry about the safety of our house. And that's when we just day in, day out, we're calling DCRA. You know, I was worried about the safety of my daughters. DCRA, the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. It's an important agency because its mission is to keep you safe. Gerson feels DCRA failed its mission to protect him, his family, and his home. I would say it goes all the way to the top to Melinda Bowling. Um, that's who I'd hold accountable. Ms. Bowling, before you um, give your statement. Melinda Bowling, the director of DCRA, is being called to account by the city council for her agency's lack of oversight. They say DCRA is not protecting homeowners from illegal construction. And if there's illegal construction going on, you shut them down real fast and you give them special treatment. I agree with you, Council Member, but they do don't have the same name. It's not always Phil. What I'm saying is they have different names. Well, then I don't please know. hire Ms. McDaniel because she seems to be able to figure that out. We've been trying to contact you for several months now. I mean, these are all the emails going back to January, early January. We've been. We finally caught up with Director Bowling at the Council hearing. She says the agency she took over in 2015 was plagued by staff shortages, budget cuts, and old technology. So you're basically flying the plane while you're uh, fixing it at the same time. Uh, we have significant improvement. We res we're responding to our citizens. And when they call DCRA, they don't answer. Meet Delaine Engelbert. She started out as a housing inspector at DCRA, focusing on illegal construction. By the time she left the agency in September 2016, Engelbert was the acting manager overseeing and reviewing construction projects and inspections in the whole city. If something's wrong, the workers just scatter. Last fall, the former enforcer submitted this testimony at a city council hearing. She points her finger at Mayor Bowser, saying, quote, There was a shift in DCRA's mission that people no longer mattered. Getting the permits issued and out the door was the priority. The council should not have hours of testimony of people coming in, citizens, ANCs, and business groups complaining about one aspect or another of DCRA. After a year of oversight hearings and countless citizen complaints, the D.C. Council wants to break up the agency into two departments, one for construction enforcement, the other for licenses and consumer protection. Director Bowling disagrees with making that move. Joe Gerson believes it's a win for residents. I really want district residents to know that with all of this building that's happening in D.C., that DCRA is not there to protect them if their house gets damaged by a developer. Don't expect that DCRA is going to come in and, and fulfill their mission, because they're not. Joe Gerson, he had to hire a lawyer to help him with his battle with DCRA. Council Chair Phil Mendelson, he believes reorganizing DCRA is still the best way to go. And we don't plan to stop here. We'll continue to expose the cracks in this agency that's responsible to keep you safe. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.